I thought, you know... I gotta, I gotta stop you. Go right ahead, Nate. There's somebody on hold who wants to talk to the moron. Which line would that be? The special line that's lit. Oh, you mean the warm line? No, the, 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 the in-studio celebrity hotline. Yes. You're on the air. You can't be serious, can you? Have, have, is this the first time you've listened to me in a while, Triff? You can't be serious. Yeah, absolutely. Seriously. Absolutely. You just made a statement that I can't believe. What, what was that? If we don't find weapons of mass destruction, what are we doing there? We'll put them there. Okay, well, let's, well, how about meat hooks? How about torture chambers? How about a terrorist camp in the northern part of his country? How about Africa, where they circumcise women? It, what, what, that, what is it? You know, there's, there's nasty Africa. things going on all over the world, but we don't seem to care about that. I, I don't know of another torture chamber in this, in this world. You know, the guy had meat hooks, where he was hanging people on meat hooks. He's got coffins piled to the ceilings. He's got a warehouse. He's got a terrorist camp in the northern part of his country that he was feeding money and, and weapons to. Do you, you, you got to, you, you know. Do you really I, believe we're there because we care about the people of Iraq? We care about what this, pe this guy was going to dish out to the terrorists. Yeah. He had a terrorist uh -huh. camp in the northern part of his country. I mean, do you just got, do you people that are against this war just overlook facts? I mean, it's amazing. It's like, that doesn't matter. We, we, I, I can't believe what I hear sometimes from people. I, I guess that anti-war people, they just go, when they hear a fact, when they hear me hooks and a terrorist camp, they go, oh, that, I'm not, that, that doesn't count. I mean, are you guys nuts or what? Seriously. It, when, was the, when do we go around the world invading sovereign nations and stopping all over the Rick, terror because we're there to help the people? They don't like us. They don't want us there, Mike. Rick, if you can't figure out why we... I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm just beside myself because I really like you. But if you can't figure out why we're there, I, I pity you. I know why we're there, Mike. I, I feel sorry for you. Halliburton, you ever heard of them? Harkin Oil, you ever heard of them? He divested himself from that a long time ago. It, it's, 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 I mean, I... Rip. Nobody's divested themselves of it. The reason that we're there is the reason why we wage any war. It's money. Okay. There's money involved. I, okay. Meat hooks. Right. Uh, Everybody talks about Hitler. Nobody mentions Stalin. Well, did hey. you go stop Hitler? Or was that about money? Yeah, yeah, have, have we found any weapons of mass destruction yet? You don't need weapons of mass destruction. They can't even hit us with any goddamn bombs, Mike. You had a they team. don't have any bombs. That's, what are they going to do, throw them at us? They just, they just had one of his scientists that defected on. Do watch a little television. You said I watch the television all the time. When I get tired of listening to you, I turn you off and watch TV. That's perfect. You'll at least you'll get educated. Well, yeah, because I... Hello? That's the FBI. Yeah, that's the FBI. You at least he had one of his scientists that defected who just said he had 39 rods of uranium and he has weapons of mass destruction. That's one of his own scientists that defected. I mean, you people that are against the war, you just forget about all the facts. Let me ask you a question. Who do you think was more of a threat, Iraq or North Korea? Oh, Rick, please. Rick, what do you mean, please. please? They've got nuclear weapons and the capability Rick, to deliver them. It's one step at a time. And, and the Bush yep. did the greatest thing with North Korea. He put it on China and Russia. The next said, step? Listen, North Korea is your neighbors. You deal with them. All right, do you know the next step? And you can, you can hold me on this in case I'm wrong. You can come and tell me that I'm a big dum-dum. I won't tell you that. Next is Syria. And I hope it is. And, oh, really? And then next is, you know what I just got handed to me? Hot off the presses there. Cheney is still paid by Pentagon contractor. Hey, hey, Cheney's invested himself. He gets up to $1 million from a firm with Iraqi oil deal, Halliburton. Yeah, Rick, if this was about oil every de and about Cheney's money, every Democrat in Congress and Senate would have this, you know, this, whole, this whole administration impeached. Now, the Democrats are just looking for something, okay? Now, don't be silly with this, okay? Because Kucinich is one of the biggest communists we have in this country. You know, he, don't you think that if, it, if you could prove, you're sitting there rattling off what Cheney's doing. If Kucinich could prove that, he'd have this administration impeached. He's already trying to sue him. 
So, I mean, I don't know what he's trying to prove, but if you can overlook all the stuff that we found in that country so far, the way he's treated prisoners of war, the way he's treated his own people with torture camps, meat hooks. I didn't say he was a nice guy. I said I don't. camp in his own country. I didn't say he was a nice guy. I said we shouldn't go into sovereign nations that have not attacked anyone in 12 or 13 years and say we've got, well, if they've got meat hooks and they're nasty people. Well, there's nasty people all over the world. World. Who's got torture team chambers and meat hooks? Well, you said erected. Who, who kills their own people? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Only him. I mean, don't overlook... What do you mean, only him? How do you know that? Well, wait a minute. Maybe I'm wrong here because, see, I know what you're doing. What's that? You're trying to do a good talk show. Uh, I'm giving my opinion. I don't make up an opinion. No, you're this. I know you're not this dumb. You're trying to do a good talk show, and I fell for it. And I apologize because you're a oh. genius. I gotta go. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hang it in my ear. Yeah, sure. Hang it in my ear, will ya, Triv? Yeah, that's the only reason. W yeah, that's oh, that's it, Mike. That's the only reason why I would sit here and argue with people for weeks on end. It'd be easier for me to come in in the afternoons and just sit there and toe the party line, and that way I won't have to argue with nobody and sit there and wave the flag and scratch it myself. Yeah, th that's the easy way out. Do you think this is easy? He called you lazy last week. Oh, he called me lazy on the air? Yeah. Why am I lazy? He said you show up five minutes before your show starts. Oh, oh I almost said it. <laughs> How, how early do I get here before my show? If I start at 9, I'm here at when? No, you don't know. Eight. Yeah, 8. If, if I come in to do a, a show after a Cavs game, and I'm not on until 10.30, I'm here at 9. I don't get paid for that. I'm here at 9. I think you could take him. Triv? Yeah. Well, I could certainly outrun his ass. I'm going to set up a video camera at his house on back shaving day. <laughs> we'll put that up on the website. I've pissed off friends of mine. Good friends of mine that listen to this program and they're pissed off. They've even called and said, yeah, nice, or nice job on the radio there, Rick. It ain't always easy. It ain't always easy sitting and giving your opinion. It's my opinion. I've avoided people. People that are dear friends of mine that I just... Sorry, we, uh, we agree to disagree. And I, you know what's interesting? I was talking to a girl, she's a law student. She said, you know what the professor was teaching them? I wonder if he listens to this program. Something Mike Trivisano's never heard of. Unless he listens to me. The Hegelian dialectic. You ever heard of it? I'll tell you more about it. After these important words and coverage of what in the world's happening. Did I tell you I'm Rick Gilmore, the thinking man's friend? And my knuckles do not drag on the ground when I walk. On Cleveland's only news radio. WTAM 1100. Woo!